Yo, what is up you guys? Today we are back and today I'm going to be going over this whole being delusional, the concept of being delusional. This has become some sort of trend as of late. It's been on TikTok, people talking about it on YouTube. So I wanted to check in with you guys, give you guys my two cents on what I think this really means and how we can use it to our advantage. So anyways, here we are, here we are. Uh, it's a nice little sunset going on in the background. I try to position this camera so that you can kind of catch a little vibe in here while we're here. But anyways, the thing is about delusion, the definition of delusion is believing in something that is unreal or extremely unlikely to occur. And the thing that we got to understand when we come up, when we come to this topic is that we are always engaging in delusions. Every single time that you think a negative thought, that you imagine something negative happening, you roll out of bed, you uh you you start thinking that you, you start replaying interactions with people or not replaying. You might just be playing for the first time preemptively uh, playing a negative outcome in your mind. You think that you're going to have a bad interaction with, a, with a, your boss, with a colleague at work. Imagining any sort of negative outcome is already a form of delusion because you are placing your your thought energy into something that is already... Uh, it, it's not true. It's a fiction of your own mind. So by that definition, that is delusional. So we're, we're always constantly deluding ourselves, if that's what we want to call it. Um, but what I would say is that instead of engaging in delusions, which are detrimental to us, which can lead us down a negative path and, and into a outcome that we don't desire, why don't we shift our attention towards those positive outcomes that we do want for ourselves? Because when we do that, we are now using this principle, if we want to call it that, or this idea to our advantage. The idea that we can create, we can insert anything of our choosing into our minds. We do not have to replay what happened yesterday. We don't have to replay the thoughts of what happened yesterday. We don't have to react to what happened yesterday. Something annoyed us, something ticked us off, something triggered us. We don't have to spiral because this happened. We have the power to choose any thought that we want to place into our mind. And thoughts are contagious. Thoughts are like gravitational forces. As soon as you have a positive thought, other positive thoughts will start circling around it and orbiting it like a planet. And the same thing is true of negative thoughts. So. When we delude ourselves, <laughs> that's the that's the terminology that I'm using this video because that's what we're talking about. When we start thinking that, you know, aside from everything that happened yesterday, might not, might not have been the best, uh, best uh, results that we got in our yesterday's yesterday's events of the day. But besides all of that, and I'm using this like an, an analogy, you could think about it yesterday or last week or even earlier in the day. Whatever, it, whatever applies to your to your thinking. A lot of the time we think, oh, yesterday in terms of days. So whatever it was from the day before, you don't have to bring it in. You can actually say, you know what? That's actually setting me up for something even better. You know what? My posts didn't do well. People didn't respond to me how I wanted to. The people at work were not showing up on time. My subordinates at work were not listening to me. They were not being, they were not showing up. They were arguing with me. Whatever, the, whatever it is that happened, you can say, you know what? So now I'm going to talk to my superiors and I'm going to tell them what happened. And now it's going to allow the workplace to be an even better environment for myself. And I'm going to thrive even more because of this. We're, we're simply weeding out the uh, <laughs> we're weeding out the, the chaff or whatever, whatever this phrase, however that phrase goes. We're basically weeding out all of the bad eggs that are not contributing towards having a great environment, where all the people that are not helping us along our path, helping us on all, along our goal, we're simply sifting through those people and those people are gonna be out of here. And then when it comes to anything that you've been working on, any sort of manifestation, you got your goals that you're working on, you can just simply say to yourself, you know what, I'm getting better. Every single time that I post, I'm getting better. My results are getting better. My uh, 
my the algorithm is favoring me now because now I have more posts in the chamber in the lo in in the cycle of posts and now everything is going to become easier and easier for me to get to my goal that I have outlined for myself and in this way we can inform exactly what it is that the types of results that we want like I said we are already engaging in these fictitious delusions so why not make them positive why would we ever want to dwell in the negative delusions there's a connotation that that makes the people think that delusions always are like delusions of grandeur they're always positive yet we're deluding our we're engaging in delusions all the time in the negative form so that is my two cents on the topic of being delusional how to become delusional <laughs> and to use it to your advantage rather than your detriment now, when you are on this path of engaging in these, these delusions that you do want, you are going to run into people that are going to tell you that, uh, that they're not okay or that they're unrealistic. That's the biggest thing I think people get a lot of the times is like, well, people tell me that they're unreal unrealistic. Your family, your friends, all the people around you that know you, unfortunately, most of them are not going to uh, be very amenable to a lot of your big goals that you might have. That's just unfortunately the way that things are. Um, and it's not necessarily their fault, but we have been programmed with a lot of these beliefs. A lot of people have are harboring limiting beliefs that they've been having ever since they were children or they were instilled with these beliefs. So not to put the blame on anybody, but that is the case, unfortunately. And so for us, to kind of jujitsu our way around this first of all we don't need to bring it up to everybody we don't need to bring our delusional delusionarily amazing goals up with everybody all the time we simply kind of work on them in quiet but one thing that that is true that you can do is if somebody says something really negative to you i got this from devina she was on the channel the other day we had that video about being the main character but she told me something that she said which is when her parents or somebody close to her has knocked her for the things that she wanted to do, the goals and the dreams that she's had, she would simply say, wow, do your feet hurt right now? Because it must hurt from stomping all over my dreams or something to that effect. Something along the lines of, yeah, uh, I, hope you're, I hope your shoes are comfortable because your feet must hurt from stomping all over my dreams again or something like that. But any, any time that we can kind of make a lighthearted um, and turn something into a joke, I've mentioned this in other videos that we posted in the past as well, but that is a kind of way that, of telling the universe, so you're not fighting against an energy. And Vadim Zeeland talks about this in Transurfing, but rather than battling the universe or battling a frame or a person, we can simply do the unexpected, turn it into a joke, make it, make it lighthearted. And it also shows them, it also shows ourself and the universe that we actually aren't taking it too seriously and, there, and therefore it's not affecting us too much. Because if we get all boiled, riled up and start defending our position or we just get into an argument with them about who's right or what's possible and what's not possible, it's not, uh, the universe itself doesn't react very well to that and neither do people you'll find. You know, it's best to avoid getting into a combative frame with somebody when it comes to that. But anyways, guys, I wanted to drop this real quick. This is my interpretation on being delusional, how you can be delusional in your own life in a and put a positive spin on it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And with that being said, leave me a like, drop me a comment, hit me with a subscribe if you found this helpful, and I will see you very, very soon. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. <laughs>